What's going on guys? Welcome to your next Android tutorial in the basic series. And uh, you know, I don't know exactly what tutorial it is. I didn't look to see where we're at, but it's the next one after the last video you just watched. So uh, welcome to it. What we're going to do is something uh, with video because I've been getting a lot of response or questions asking about, hey, I can't get this video to work. So we're going to start out with something really simple, um, you know, something like this. You know, just adding a video and uh, making our app more awesome. Instead of having, you know, just a picture for a splash screen, we're going to do something like that. Pretty simple. Obviously, there is a lot of improvement we can make, like play buttons, back buttons, making it full screen. We'll get to that later. But uh, as for now, we just need to get that basic structure going. So as you guys can see, I set up a new Java class called Tutorial 5, even though it's probably Tutorial 6 because I think Tutorial 5 was a surface view. So probably just set up a new class called Tutorial 6 um, and yeah, get that set up. Obviously extends activity, set content to a new XML layout, which I called again Tutorial 5. You probably should do Tutorial 6. Um, but anyways, in Tutorial 5, you are going to have something pretty simple, uh, you know, basic layout, and we're going to throw in this video view under the images and media uh, selection, or, you know, obviously there's other options here as the SDK updates this is gonna change but look for video view drag and drop that over there and then relabel the ID as video pretty simple right um, and also make sure your manifest is set up right here um, again you guys probably do tutorial 6 because like I said the surface view stuff was tutorial 5 and all actuality so uh, set up a new you know, activity ticker here with a new name, which I called again Tutorial 5, and uh, you know, got that set up. Then we want to go over to our menu class, make sure your menu XML, or, I'm sorry, your main XML has the buttons that we set up. And again, um, this is the actual button we're going to be using is the Tutorial 6, because again, Tutorial 5 was our surface view. So let's just add a name to this here. I know you guys are probably kind of behind at pause video. My bad. Apologize. But, uh, you know, you're to the point where you could probably set this all up. Hopefully. Hopefully you're at that point. Um, and then, uh, what else? Within the menu class, you want to set up a new button. I call it Toot6. It refers to the Tutorial 6 ID. And you set up your on-click listener to open up that new name that you set up in the manifest. So even though this is what I'm saying, you should probably label your class Tutorial 6 instead of Tutorial 5 because it's button 6. And the way I set it up, it opens up Tutorial 5 class. So kind of confusing there. Make sure you get everything set up. You know, Do a test run just with something like this. Set content view to your layout of your new XML that you just set up with that video view in there and just run your application make sure it works doesn't crash or anything uh, we haven't set up our IDs for the video view yet um, but you know get that set up and as you're doing that I just want to apologize it's been so long since I've created this tutorial uh, what happened is I won the lottery and I've I've just now run out of all of my millions so I gotta start making some tutorials again um, no actually I didn't win the lottery <laughs> If I, if I did win the lottery, I probably would have made a million tutorials by now on a computer, on my yacht, on a beach that I built in Nebraska where the sand would be sugar and the water would be propel water. Great flavored. I think that's probably what I'd do if I won the lottery. Anyways, so hopefully uh, by now you guys are caught up and, you know, we're ready to go. So we got our basic layout set up. Again, this extends activity. We create a new you know, ID, which is gonna be a video view, which you're gonna have to import. We're gonna call it vid. Save that up there. Before we get into anything, I'm guessing the main reason why a lot of you guys are having problems with the video view is uh, the format. Because you have to go to the Android developer site, developer.android.com, you know, do some research, see what kind of formats Android takes. So uh, this is the format page. I'll try and put a link in the description if I remember. Um, and down here in the video section, we have four different codecs that we can use. And here's the extensions that you can use. Um, 
here is uh, streamable for 4.0 and above. So you kind of want to check out, you know, what you can, what's available, what you can do. And if you guys have, I'm just going to use After Effects because uh, that's where I made this sweet video. I didn't, you know, have to pay a million dollars for this video. I actually came up with this creative idea by myself moments ago. So you have your video and we're going to set it to the render queue. I know this is After Effects, but hopefully some other uh, programs you can work with as well. So we're in our render over here and we're going to put our output, whatever it is, make sure it's lowercase because again, we're going to add this as a resource later. And then we're going to go to our output here and make sure the format fits the Kodak of what's over on our developer site. So um, I'm sorry, make sure it matches the extension over here. So we have some different choices. Android kind of prefers the 3GPP or the 3GP here. That's kind of what it records when you record on your device. It's going to be this type of format. So that's what we're going to actually output to. Um, but as you can see over here, the Kodak can be either uh, the H264, the H263. It's kind of confusing if you guys aren't into video that much, but I'll show you how it's done in After Effects. Hopefully you can figure it out in whatever editing program you're working with. So we're going to go over here to the format and it's going to be the H.264. We're going to click that and then as for our video output over here, we're going to go to the format options and uh, the multiplexer or something like it, whatever uh, program you're working with. We're going to go to the selection, type this or find this 3GPP. Now a lot of video editing software probably won't have that, but you know that this is the concept that you guys need to make sure you're doing because you want it in the right format. We're going to click OK and then we're going to render it out and we have our video. So um, again, if you guys don't have After Effects, just record a video on your phone, upload it to your computer, put it in your resources, and then everything's gravy, baby, because uh, it'll probably work as well. So the, again, obviously the next thing you need to do, we're going to go into our RAR folder. Uh, I know everyone says, hey, why do you say RAR instead of RAW? But I like saying RAR, all right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into our RAR folder, and uh, we're going to throw in this video. Uh, this is the video I created, video f.3gp. Um, that's the money right there, uh, again, within a RAW folder. So uh, get that set up. And the actual coding itself is pretty quick, so you know, most of this tutorial has just been setting up stuff, but that's the most important part with videos. So we again, we have an instance of our video view class here. We call it vid. Next thing that we have to do is we have to link it to the XML. So we're just going to put vid is equal to, again, with we're going to cast in video view. Whoa. Got a little carried away there. Uh, find view by ID, just like everything else we do. Like, it's really not that bad. It's just, you know, whatever. And then our ID is, was video. Uh, that's a reference, again, within the XML. And there we go. We have the connection set up. The next thing that we need to do is we need to tell Android where this video is located. Um, and this is probably the trickiest part uh, for this example anyways. So we're going to create a string that's going to be the path or the URL path, you know, something like that. So we're going to label this string URL path. And then within quotations, we're going to refer to android.resource colon forward slash forward slash and then uh, go out of our parentheses or without of our quotations, add a plus, and we're going to say get package name. Um, that's just going to refer to our individual package that we set up uh, with our specific resources uh, for this application. And then we're going to hit a plus and then just a forward slash again. And then we're going to do a plus r dot raw folder raw, uh, video. And you don't need to add the extension. So uh, there we go. Uh, that's our path to our specific video within our raw folder. And uh, next thing that we have to do is set our video URI. Again, um, it's pretty pretty quick tutorial here once we get everything set up. So we're gonna refer to our vid or vi uh, video view. We're gonna say set uh, video URI. And next thing that we have to do is we have to convert this string into our URI reference. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna refer to the URI class 
So we're going to say uh, URI with a capital there because this is the URI class and we're going to parse some data. Basically, you know, convert string reference into uh, a URI reference. Um, so parse and what are we parsing? What's our string that we're parsing? A URL path. Um, that was supposed to be URI, but URL works too. It doesn't matter. All right. So now that we have our video linked up and uh, to our string path, what we're going to lastly do is kind of like when we worked with Media Player, uh, we're just going to say vid.start, and that's our start command. I'm going to format this, let you guys check it out, uh, save it, run it, and hopefully we don't get any errors here. Oops, different, different uh, emulator. So, and I show you guys the example in landscape, but also you can do, you know, you know, portrait here. And then we're just going to click the video button, and we're going to get something like this. So obviously we could add some play buttons, reverse buttons, uh, you know, make it full screen somehow, at clip the video. Uh, we, we'll get into that stuff as we go. Um, this is the video section of of the series, so uh, we can, you know, implement different things from here so thanks again for watching guys hopefully it made sense I know there's a lot of setup again I apologize for being so late on my tutorials but uh, or making them because it's been forever but again thanks guys catch you in the next toot all right um, have a good one be safe rawr, 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 rawr.